All right, traders, good afternoon. Today is November 20th, 2023. This is the BYOB market wrap up with John Kerrigan, yours truly. So let's take a look at the markets today. And we'll take a look at SPY. And you can see here SPY on the daily chart. And you can see SPY hit the monthly downtrend line right here right up there so uh, I don't expect them to get too much higher from there so we'll see what happens though as a nice size candle I don't know if they want to do gap fill and challenge this this high over here there's sellers up there I don't know how much higher they get but there's spy right into the daily downtrend line and let's take a look at QQQ I would expect that to look the same way so SPY putting in a higher low and a higher high in an uptrend. QQQ breaking out to hot new uh, new highs for this year. All right, challenging the all-time highs up here. Getting ready to challenge those up at 405.51. So QQQ doing the bull flag. And then we got the breakout. So QQQ in an uptrend. Higher high. Here's the lower high. There's the higher high. QQQ in an uptrend. FNGU. Same thing, making a higher low and a higher high on the daily candle. And for the daily pattern on the daily chart, you've got a higher high. So FNGU, SPY, QQQ. All doing the same thing. Let's take a look at our indicators. All right, indicators put us in the overbought zone all day long. Right up there. T2123, I'll bet it's green all day long. T2123, three bar, green all day long. FNGU, green all day long. SPY was on fire today. So was the QQQ. Let's go back and take a look at... Diamond Dow. So here's Diamond Dow doing the same thing as the rest of the market. Putting in a higher low and a higher high challenging this uh, resistance area right up through here. Almost climbing on top of it. Let's take a look at IWM. I know it's going to look pretty close. Nope. But a higher low and a higher high. Uh, IWM trying to hold above the backside of this downtrend line on IWM. SMH putting in higher highs today, higher low, and another higher high. SMH getting it done. XLF financials, higher low, higher high, uh, challenging the prior peak over here at 35.50 on XLF. Also in an uptrend. Everything's in an uptrend except for energy. All right, IYT. Putting in a higher high, higher low, and in an uptrend on the daily chart, IYT. Everything's getting a little extended here. Eventually, it's going to run out of gas. I don't know what day it's going to happen, but eventually, it's going to happen. IYT. Let's take a look at, well, let's take a look at precious metals. Here's silver. Silver got a higher low and a higher high, still in an uptrend. Gold. Gold got a higher low and a higher high from this high over here. So gold in an uptrend just consolidating through here. USO. USO still in a downtrend with lower highs and lower lows. UNG still in a downtrend, lower highs and lower lows. All right, let's take a look at the dollar index. And you can see the dollar came down and tested that flat 200 right there. Almost on the same day that we hit the uh, monthly downtrend line. Uh, we could see a bounce here tomorrow. And a possible bounce off of the downtrend line. So that's it for the markets today. Take some questions if you have any questions.